I'm Nixie and recently we've been opening quite a lot of capsules. So I thought for today let's do something different and my bank balance said let's do something cheap. So I've decided to make some jewellery for my Barbies. Now I have a lot of beads and various other bits which I've sort of been hoarding and I really should just use them because what's the point in having stuff if you're not going to use it? So let's crack on and make some doll jewellery. Right, so I'm going to start off with just something simple and make a bracelet, or maybe three. You see, I have this dress which I really love, but I think we need to accessorise it with some bracelets to match the three different colour segments. So for the top bit in blue, I think these beads will work quite nicely. The middle green section, I think these are a really good match. And for the red, they're not a perfect match, but I think I'm going to choose these ones. So essentially I'm just going to start and thread some beads onto elastic. Now I do find with these glass seed beads you get quite a lot of variation in sort of sizes so it's best to try and pick out the ones that are a bit more regularly sized. Once you've got your desired length put it round your Barbie's wrist and we're just going to tie one knot and then a second knot and pull it tight and then cut both bits down and then what I like to do is tuck those extra strands into the other beads so there we go so if you just hold it there so sort of just tuck it in and then you don't have strands sticking out when you go to put it on your Barbie's wrist, they sometimes do pop out, so you might have to put them back in. But at least there is a way to sort of hide them. And then just make a couple more. And now she's got some bracelets to match her outfit. I would like to make a necklace for her though, but I want a bit of a shorter one. So the elastic technique isn't really going to work here because I don't think to get it shorter, I'm going to be able to fit it over her head. So in this instance, I'm going to use wire instead. So on the wire, I'm just going to thread on the beads. And once you've got your desired length, I'm going to use some needle nose pliers. So on this end, I'm just going to create a loop like that. Then at the other end, I'm just going to sort of bend it and try and make like a little twist. So just a twist to stop the beads falling off. I'm then going to cut the wire and then again with the needle nose pliers I'm just going to make a bit of a loop but not close it off. So essentially my aim has been to make a little hook. So I then can put it on the barbie and then in the back I can just hook it. And that way I can make more of a choker effect necklace Whereas, like I said, with elastic, I just don't think that would have gone over her head very well. You know, while I've got this wire, I'm going to try and make sort of an upper arm bracelet. I always think those are quite cool. So I think I might just start with making a little loop. I'm then going to wrap the wire round the doll's arm. And I think I'll cut it off about here. Actually, I think that was probably a bit too long. So I'm going to twirl this and sort of work out where it would be best to cut it. Probably a little bit more here. And then just get that more of a twist. So I've ended up with something like this. So I'll just sort of twirl that to get that round doll's arm. I mean, you're going to have to sort of shape it anyway, so it's quite flexible wire, you can change it. In this case of sort of just squishing it round your doll's arm to get the shape you want. There you go, you've got a really simple upper arm bracelet. Which, simple, but quite effective. I think that looks cute. So I think next up I'm going to look at earrings. Now I have a lot of these little hooks which I think are going to work quite well. Because they will go into her ear and not fall out. Probably could do with cutting down because it's bumping against, I think, her um, neck peg, but we'll go with it. So let's just start with the classic. Got a hook, got a jump ring. 
So I'm just going to open it slightly, put the hook on it, and then I'm just going to try and bend it out so it's a bit more in line. And there we have our hoop earring. Very simple. And here she is with her hoop earrings. Now obviously we could try and make these hooks a bit smaller, but I was going for simplicity because I've got a load of these, so we can make a lot of earrings this way. So I've got a couple of these actually, which are just wires with, they're almost like a sort of pin ending, these flat bits. So these would be perfect, I think, to string some beads on, then we can loop it and make an earring with those. So I think I'm going for a black and white design. I think I'll do four and see how that goes. Yes, I think I'm happy with that length. So I'm just now going to thread this through here. Curl it round, cut it off. I really need to get more of these. These don't seem to be cutting very well. There we go. And then I'm going to use some pliers just to try and curve that in. So that we have a nice dangly earring now. And here they are on the doll. And personally, I think those look really cool. I'm pleased with those. So that doll had her ears pierced when I bought her, but they were quite small holes. Normally Barbie earrings, if they're pre-pierced, have really large earring holes. Exhibit A. So her ho earring holes are bigger and there's just more room so it's likely to fall out. Unfortunately I don't have any thick wire so I'm going to need to get some. And to work out what I need to get, I'm going to use the earring she came with. But I'm going to use this fancy tool here to measure how thick the earring wire would need to be so I can get some at some point. So it's saying 1.6 millimetres which... There we go, we'll turn that into inches, just for anyone who can't deal with millimetres. So it's 0 0.06 inches. So that is how thick why I'm going to need if I want to make sort of stems for earrings for her. Right, I think my mermaid Barbie, she needs some attention too, so let's make some jewellery for her. So we haven't looked at rings yet, and well, a lot of Barbie's hands are a bit thick, so there's not many good places to put rings. So then she would have got either the thumb or the little finger for her. But that's fine, we will do the little finger. So I think I can use these hooks again, because they fit really well on the Barbie's little finger. I'm going to try and use this bit here. This cuts as well. I'm going to see if that works any better than my actual ones are meant to cut. So... Did that get it? Yes. I now have a little hoop. So I'm going to put this on a um, cocktail stick because I want to glue a little gem to make it look like a ring that's got a gem. So these I've just had a while and I can't remember if I just bought them because I liked the jars. I, I wouldn't put that past me to have done that. But I never opened it so let's get this open. Like I said, craft materials are great but if you don't use them they're a bit pointless. So I'm thinking one of these three. We've got pink flowers, which are cute. We've got just silver circles, which are quite classic. And we've got purple triangles. I think I want to go fun. I, I want the flower. So my aim is to glue this onto the join bit of this. So I'm going to use some super glue for this, but obviously just use whatever glue you're comfortable with and you think it's going to work. I don't personally want to use hot glue just because it's hot and it's very small and I don't want my fingers to burn. Right, just because this is so fiddly I think I might just put a little bit of glue on the packaging. It's going to come off. Okay, that is really cute, but I'm going to leave it on here to try and set a bit longer though before I take it off and try put it on her finger. But I like that. I think that's worked out really nicely. So while that's drying, let's just do another quick necklace. This time I'm just going to use some cord, so this one I think will match her hair quite nicely. And then this little heart charm. So I have loads of like random charms and stuff. I just kind of accumulate these kind of things. We don't want to put it straight through the cord because it would then be the wrong way. So we're going to have to make just a little 
loop so it sits the correct way. So then I'm just going to reuse this bit of wire that we cut off from the ring and with the needle nose pliers let's make it a circle. Then just cut the excess away. I do then just need to bend it open enough so I can get that heart hoop on. Then just squidge it back shut. So now we have something we can put our thread through and it will sit nicely. Right, so I want this just to be long enough to go over her head. So I'm going to sort of measure it and cut it about there. And then just going to knot it. And to be honest, I think that will only need one knot. And now hopefully we can easily slip it over her head. And she has a heart necklace to wear. It does come out a bit long. It probably would have looked a little bit better higher up, but it's fine. We can have a long necklace. And let's just slip on her ring now. Hopefully this has worked. it's holding. And there you go, a little flower ring, which is quite cute. So while I was getting out all my beads and stuff, I did find some bits because I like to save things. For example, I found these two bracelets that I had as a child. And obviously bracelets make very quick and easy necklaces. So as long as you're happy with a long necklace on your Barbie, so very easy. These are just things I had and still have from when I was a kid. So this one's got a fancy, I think that's like a mother of pearl. But this is why it's always worth keeping things. Like, I can be a bit of a hoarder, so that's why I've still got these. Then another thing I thought I'd try it is using actual earrings with the backs taken off to fit in the doll ears. Now again, these certainly wouldn't fit in the pre-existing holes for most Barbies because they're quite big, but because she's got quite small holes in her ear, these do fit and I think they look quite nice. So if you do have a Barbie that happens to have smaller holes in their ear, or if you've pierced them yourself, obviously you've got more control over the size of the hole. So you've got potential for some different styles from actual real earrings as well. I just thought it'd be worth trying these out alongside making some stuff for the dolls. So just as a quick recap of the crafts we've done today, we made elastic bead bracelets, a wire choker necklace, a wire upper arm bracelet, dangly bead earrings, silver hoop earrings, a cord necklace with charm, and a ring. So obviously with jewelry there are so many possibilities. These were quite basic styles, but I had fun dipping my toe into jewelry making for my dolls. So hopefully Maylin, Donna and I have named her Ophelia, are pleased, and I hope you all like this video too. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, do subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!